Hello everybody, welcome to Leech Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco, back for another episode. And um, kind of in honor, I guess, of that, uh, that uh, lunar uh, expedition, lunar uh, mission last week. I'm just using this as an excuse. Uh, we're going to do Freak Out. And um, Freak Out by Luna Vineyards. It's 2007. And uh, I bought this well before I even thought about the, the moon thing. And uh, it's a white wine from Napa Valley. Um, you can also... You can also maybe say it's partially in honor of Christopher Columbus, since it is Columbus Day today. Um, though in the great state of Texas, Columbus Day really is nothing. Uh, really, more back east. Actually, you know, there's probably no school today. Some businesses are closed. Not here. Uh, anyway, uh, so the freak out. This is from Napa Valley. Now, uh, before we get into the wine real quick, I'm going to read, oh, a $7.99 World Market. And uh, let's see. I'm going to read the back label real quick. Winemaker Mike Drash freaked out when he tasted this. When he tasted the unique white wine blends of Friuli, Italy, and crafted this exotic blend of Pinot Grigio, uh, Ribolla Gialla, Sauvignon Blanc, and Chardonnay. Taste what happens when inspired winemaking meets unrestrained excitement. And we'll go over what's so special about this wine after we taste it. So, uh, white wine. But uh, it's, it's, it's a decent color. Uh, it's kind of kind of a darker golden color, and we'll kind of go through that in a little bit, if I remember. I always say that, and I forget to say these things. New stem today. At least new stem for the show. I've had it for a while. So I broke one of the other ones. I bought two of them when I broke that nice one. So I needed backups, so I bought these, basically the same. So I'm getting kind of, I guess, floral elements out of it. I don't know, this is one of those wines that I'm, you know, I, I can smell its wine, I can, I can, I didn't either. It's like uh, aromas I don't know, or I don't have much experience with, or it's just really not much coming through. I mean, it's kind of citrusy, a little bit. Let's let's see if the palate's much better than the uh, than the bouquet, at least for me. Definitely got some more going on there. Um, it's pretty acidic. Um, I am getting some of that citrusy uh, component to it. A little bit of creaminess, and, and that might be because I know I, I'm, I'm thinking about how it's been created. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty citrusy, uh, lots of acid, kind of tart. Um, it definitely would benefit from from, from some uh, chilling to it, because um, you know I'm doing all this with at room temperature. I don't really chill the wines normally. I did the champagne. Uh, by the way, I finished that champagne yesterday. Excellent, and that little vacuum in thing worked perfectly. It was awesome. Um, you know, I like it. It's, it's, it's different. And it's not a Chardonnay. It's not a Pinot Grigio. It's not a Sauvignon Blanc. The other one I don't know about. You know, it's got, I can, I can get the elements of all of them. And, um, I mean, it's really, you know, it, it kind of tastes more like an unoaked Chardonnay or the Pinot Grigio. So I'm going, there's, it's a crisp, it's a clean wine. Um, it's starting to grow on me. I get really a, a, a really acidic kind of a lemony uh, quality to it. Um, 
it's gotten ratings in the high 80s from a couple like websites. Uh, I'm gonna go with an 80. I'll go with an 86. Uh, Navy was chilled. I enjoy it a little bit better, but um, it's still a solid wine. I really like it. Um, for eight bucks, it's uh, which this is actually a markdown price because World Market uh, was on the clearance rack, so it was probably a more expensive wine. So for, definitely for eight bucks, I'd suggest it. I think I've seen it for like thirteen or fourteen. I probably wouldn't um, because I think there's plenty of wines out there that are eight at eight bucks or that are about the same. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about this real quick before I run out of time. Um, they're from the Napa Valley, like I said. The winery, from what I can tell, was founded in 1995. Uh, the little history at their at their website just says in 1995, the two founders fell in love with a piece of land in Napa Valley. So I don't know if they bought it in 95 or they found it and then bought it later. Um, the varietals, the way they make this wine, um, they they separately ferment each varietal so they don't... They don't like crush the grapes and then create the blend and then uh, and then do the uh, fermenting. Um, some of it is when they ferment it, they ferment it with the skin. So that's why you get a little bit darker color. Uh, I mean, Chardonnays uh, usually are a little bit darker, but Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blancs, I'm not sure about the last grape, uh, how they look, but they're usually a little bit lighter than this. Um, for the breakdowns, 30, I, and I found this, oh, this is from the website itself, which thank you. Uh, 35% Chardonnay, 33% Pinot Grigio, 25% Sauvignon Blanc, and 7% Ribola Gialla. Uh, now, Ribola Gialla is a... Uh, wow, that was loud. Um, it is a varietal that is only found, according to these guys, in their vineyard in the, in the United States, as far as it's, a, it's, it's not the only place in the world, but the only place in the United States that it, they grow this varietal. And this varietal is more well known in the uh, Friuli region of north northeastern Italy, um, which da, da, da. so it's in the Friuli Venezia Giulia region of northeast Italy. So it's really you know that the, the northeastern corner of Italy. Um, this particular varietal is thought to be Greek in origin, uh, and it kind of moved its way through Slovenia, which you know it's, you can find it in Slovenia and Greece. It's just kind of a slightly different name, but it's basically. You know, they sound very much the same. Um, but it's used a lot in the northeastern part of Italy. And uh, it was recently added to this mi the mix of uh, varietals. I think prior to that, they just used the other three. But I think maybe this vintage or maybe the vintage before, they added that grape to it. Um, the uh, Chardonnay is fermented in French oak. Um, the Sauvignon Blanc is mostly... Uh, fermented in stainless steel, though they do they do hold some of it, or they do have some of it fermented in um, in uh, no, just in 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 a barrel, and they say small oak barrels on the skins. Um, the Pinot Grigio again is you know some of it's fermented in stainless, and then the rest of it's fermented in neutral French oak, which just means it's older French oak that's not going to impart any flavors, really doesn't impart any like characteristics on it. Um, and the uh, Ribola is aged in small oak barrels, so I don't know if it's, I'm assuming it's not neutral. don't know if it's American or French, but I'm going to guess it's French. Um, and yeah. I'm getting a little bit more fruit in it. Um, it's opened up a little bit. I mean, let's be realistic. I open these bottles usually in a couple hours before we do this, but there's not much service space really to interact with the wine. It's just that the bottles are already opened. I just decide when I wake up what I'm going to review uh, instead of just opening it on camera. Yeah, pretty decent. Um, all right, so pretty much out of time. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I'm recording two more episodes today. And... Uh, uh, the the real life things in real in the other side of my life are going pretty well, and uh, stay tuned for Sommelier A School. Sorry, uh, just with the with what was going on last week with uh, finding gainful employment, it's uh, was a lot more difficult to get my schedule the way I wanted it to do Sommelier A School. I was able to get the wines done, but Sommelier A School will be back. We will be doing wines of Italy. Uh, it will be just the introduction to Italy first, and then we'll hit some regions. Uh, that's going to do it for now. Uh, I've got two more wines to do. We'll talk a little bit more. 
Friend me up, click the links, and we'll see everybody again next time.